Hello everyone and welcome back again for another video. Today, uh, we got something that we're going to uh, fix up and kind of give a bit of a makeover to. This is a Sama Max Cool case. I recognize it because uh, I've actually used the Sama Max Cool case before. That's why I knew what this one was. Um, this got brought to me from a gal. She wanted it fixed up. Um, we can see it's fairly dusty. It's not, you know, too bad. Just got a little dust residue at the bottom. So that's going to be need to be cleaned up. Um, we got some fans in here. Sama fans. These are red. Um, I think I'm going to change those out to an RGB. I'm not going to do anything too major to this. Uh, but I am going to try a technique hopefully i'm successful and uh we'll see as i progress along if not then i'll just pull it off no big deal but i kind of want to do something with this uh hard drive cage here so let's see and then this is a rgb strip this is one of those uh cheapy kind that you can get off of ebay for like 2.99 plugs into a usb and it sends out your signal through that and uh changes colors that way it actually got put through the back here and plugged into a usb port uh i'm gonna see if i can eliminate that i think i have something in my box over there of stuff that we can do with this uh, so we'll see i'm actually i've actually been trying to uh clear out a lot of my uh old hardware as of late you can see right there this shelf um all those little baskets there contain different types of computer parts and as you can see this thing is a mess it's been a mess for <laughs> forever and uh i'm gonna try organizing that because i actually am doing some remodeling out in the other room so actually a lot of this stuff here is going to get uh taken out and put into the other room so we can redo the shelves in here and i might redo my carpeting in here as well but anyways uh, enough of that i digress back to this um socket 1150 uh pc asus still pretty decent you can do some gaming on it if you want the, the person that owns this isn't a gamer but uh yeah they they like the flash and stuff and at the time when they had this built uh there really wasn't much for RGB to be found at a decent price. That's why you got just red fans in here. But uh, RGB's really come down in price. So I think I'm going to throw some RGB in here for sure. Clean this damn thing up. And let's see if we can get... Let me, let me get you a front view of this case over here. I see it's all dirty there. I'm going to take that all off. It's got buttons and i forgot about this that the max school had these it's got buttons up on front there that i could plug the led uh into to change the colors with so that's probably what i'm gonna do and i think i know which ones i'm gonna put in here too actually if we go over here to my shelf these damn things that i've had for quite a while and i've never really done anything with these spider spectrums i think that would be a pretty good uh fit for that case over here so yeah let me uh sort through some of that junk sort through some of that junk and uh clean up this junk and we'll come back to the next scene okay so to get into what i'm attempting to do to this uh i guess we'll see how it turns out when i'm done um i got the first one down um i'm still smoothing it out this right here you can see how it's kind of got a mirror finish going on there uh, what i'm using is mirror finish vinyl wrap now this stuff if you've never worked with it it's got actually two layers to it um, you can kind of see some stripes on this one that's that first layer that's just a real thin sheet of plastic that's on it you peel that back and that'll actually expose the uh chrome looking effect right here now the reason i'm doing this um is to kind of reflect 
what the RGB is going to do in here. Now, most black cases, you put RGB in them, they're not very bright uh, compared to like white cases. That's why I love the white cases because white cases will just really shine up. Um, this one, I'm not going to paint, but I wanted to do some modifications to it that uh, are actually removable. So this stuff here, actually, if you wanted to, you could take it, pick it, peel it back there and rip it all out if you want. Uh, another thing I'm going to do, like here's the back side or the, uh, I guess the left side or right side, it would be panel for the uh, back here. I'm going to put some reflective uh, vinyl wrap here on this area too. That way, when it's in there, you're going to see it through these little holes here. And that will kind of reflect outward as well. I might put some on the bottom of this CD-ROM right there. Uh, just wherever I think I could put some cool reflective uh, material to kind of reflect what the RGB is going to do once I put that in here. That's the goal on this one. Um, I've never done it before. I've seen other people do it. Uh, they had their own methods. Uh, I just wanted to see how it would look. <laughs> Quite honestly, this isn't something I've done before. So this is something kind of new to me as well. Um, easy stuff to put down. You can see there's a little bit of bumpiness to it there. Uh, that's just because of the material that this is made of. I suppose you could, if you wanted to, you could sand that down and then clean it up and then lay down your vinyl and it might be a little bit smoother, but I'm not going to get into that too much because I'm not looking for a perfect mirror finish. I'm just looking for a reflective finish on this that will, uh, add a little more effect to the RGB. So let's cut this scene here and we'll come back. So I got the back part finished now, and now we can kind of see how this is starting to come together. If I change the angle of my camera here, maybe you can see the reflection. I guess it really doesn't pick up on camera too well, but looking at it straight forward, you can absolutely see the uh, reflecting. Let me, let me turn off the light here and see if that makes a difference here. Let me focus that light back there. So as you can see, like right back there, let me put my finger, see it right there, you can see the reflecting of the lights up here. Now that is actually going to carry on over here and up here and up on top too. Uh, it'll reflect down on the bottom, which will in turn shine up here this way and make everything up there glow. So that looks pretty good so far kind of liking that reflection now, now check out that back there you see how it's kind of mirrored back there yeah that looks pretty neat i'm loving that so far so yeah and this this is just that old strip this is that uh you know five dollar ebay one that plugs into a five volt i decided to check that out and use that as a little test thing here to test out the coloring and stuff like that but if i uh move this up here there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, well, let's move on to the next scene. Okay, so here's the inside of the case now and what I've done with it so far. Uh, as you can see right here, I put some vinyl wrap on the SSD, and up on top here, I put some vinyl wrap on the uh, CD-ROM drive. So what we're going to get is a reflection coming from the back here and from here and from here and from the bottom. And as you can see, uh, if I could put a container right there, we can see a mirrored effect going on there, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and again, we're not trying to really uh, change the aesthetics of the case too much we're trying to increase lumens now where this might come in handy um let's look over here 
at this video card. This is a uh, air cooled GT 1030, so it doesn't really apply here. But um, imagine if you would, uh, if this was like something like an MSI Gaming X card or an EVGA uh, for the win card of some sorts that was here and it had like RGB on it. And normally you wouldn't be able to see it because it's on the bottom of the card, right? And your card's mounted there. Well, putting this reflective coating down uh, allows you to see the bottom of the card. Now, right now, as you can see in the uh, image on the screen, we're looking at the bottom of the GT1030 uh, using the reflection of the case. So we can actually see, since I'm uh, reflecting there, <laughs> this is pretty neat, huh? This is just all what you're seeing as a reflection, me bouncing light off. And that's what we're going to get on the bottom. That's that's actually what we're the effect we're looking for is that reflection effect uh, on our RGB when it goes like up in the front and up on the top and what have you. And uh, we'll see how that looks uh, here in a bit. But uh, I'm going to finish up here this build a little bit more. Um, now you notice I haven't put any of these uh, front panel connectors in yet. And that's because I need to do the fans in the front first. That's because of that bezel. It you know detaches from there, and all your cables come off. So I got to do everything that I want to get done up front first, and then I can kind of snake in. I'll probably have to loosen up the motherboard here, and I want to snake some wires underneath to kind of tuck them in underneath here. But uh, I can't do that until I do the fans in the front. But uh, I'm going to cut here, and I'll come back after I've done a bit more. So the build's about 90% finished, I'd say. I still have a few things to do. But uh, I just wanted to point a few couple things out here um, before I proceed along. Now, I, I said it once, and I'm going to say it again. This is removable. Um, this is a very, very easy uh, little modification to do to your case if you are looking to do this. And if you do want a flatter, more smoother mirror finish on your case, uh, you'll want to do some sanding to get that down because most of these cases are kind of a matte finished with a little bit of a rough edge to them. So when you lay down that chrome, um, it could be a little little bumpy looking now you'll notice on this one um, I covered up those back holes that were on this uh, so I had to lead my front panel wires underneath the motherboard to kind of get them out of the way so they're not sticking out here now if you want to and you want to take this a step further you could actually put some uh, chrome vinyl wrap on the back of this too you might want to scuff up that surface a bit here but yeah you could definitely go over here over in here any anywhere you think you could lay it down you know you have to take your time and get an exacto knife but uh, you can definitely do it now as you can see we can see the back here and you'll notice that there's only a couple spots where you'll actually see cables coming out and that's right here where the cable mod extension is and then right here for the SATA otherwise you'll notice that you can see the back quite well and you don't see any wires sticking in there now uh, this is kind of the effect part and there's a that's the reason I did that is because there's an effect here that I'm going to show you and that's why I don't want those wires exposed I kind of want that showing here now uh, I do need to replace this fan. They sent me a bad fan. The rest of the fans aren't too bad. Uh, these are Fantex, all 140 millimeters. I got two 140s in the front, two 140s on the top. I had to do a little bit of modification to the bezel to make them fit in there, all right, but they did fit. This fan is bad. It makes a noise. I'm going to send it back. And I'm also waiting on a, another fan, uh, the 120 millimeter version of the Fantex RGB fan, which is going to go right here. And, uh, so once I replace those two fans, this build is pretty much done. But let me go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the lights here. And let me shut off the light on my uh, little side lamp here on my GoPro. There we go. And let me turn on this computer. There we have it. 
So, pretty standard on the RGB. You know, you see you get two of them up here. And here's that noise I'm talking about. I'm sure you could probably hear that. That's that bad fan. But anyways, uh, one thing you're going to notice on the reflection effects. Now, remember I talked about that back wall where I didn't want any wires exposed? If I turn my camera over this way, what we see there casting off as a reflection is actually a... Uh, RGB strip on that back wall. It's just the only way you see it is by the reflection of it coming off from that chrome uh, vinyl wrap or whatever that I put on there. Now, if I take my GoPro here and we go look at the case straight on, there's our graphics card again that I showed you earlier. Look how we can see the lights up on top. Here's the uh, reflection coming down. From the CD-ROM drive, there's that SSD drive that we have mounted in there. So it, it's not a great effect, I, I guess, but it is a, a pretty cool way to bounce some light around. Um, let's see if I can find the cover for this. Now this cover, one thing we could do with it if we wanted to, and I, and I put a little sampler of it on there. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Hold on, folks. Now, I actually, what you're seeing there is the side panel of it on, but I have a little bit of a film on there. What it is is a mirror film, and it's actually just to kind of bounce the light around a little bit more on the inside. I could easily just take that off, and as you can see, it brightens up. Um, let me turn on the light here real quick. And here's that film. It's just kind of a mirror film. It, it actually clings on. You can go on either way if you want. Um, but, yeah. So, let me take this off. Back to that. But otherwise, uh, I, I love this case. And I wish Samo would still sell this case because it is just so massive. Um, like, like, look right here. Look how big of a graphics card you can get here. Let me get out the ruler real quick. See if we can figure it out. You got a foot of space there. And I'll put my ruler, I'll line up right about here. And we'll go another, oops, another five inches. So about 17 inches or so almost, I'd say, of space for a graphics card that you could fit in here that's pretty badass i love that uh that's why i love this case and, and uh yeah this would look a lot better i think uh maybe if you paint it paint it white or maybe just do chrome on the whole thing i guess it's up to you but uh that would look pretty badass in here and, and uh not only in just the sama case but most any other case as well if you want to try this effect uh, and again, I, I would mention the graphics card that you can view your graphics card this way. It's a lot easier to see when you got a little reflection going on on it and you're casting some of your RGB. And what you're doing is you're actually, if anything, you're making your case brighter. And it's pretty cheap, you know. This this vinyl wrap stuff is, what's it run, like 20 bucks or so. It's pretty easy to put down. You don't need to be that experienced with it. Um, it's pretty much, you know, get an X-Acto knife, get a uh, little squeegee thing to help you out. Uh, there's tons of YouTube videos. You know, I'm not going to go over it, but uh, you guys can do it. But that's just a little tip for you all if you want to dress up your computer a little bit more. So I'll see you all in the next build. Um, I'll probably show some pictures of this on the builds.gg site uh, once I get the new fans in. That way it's got its official uh, photographs. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and bye.